Perfume wardrobe, just like actual wardrobe, is very individual, but the concept I developed includes for fragrances, it's quite universal, but also leaves some space for experiment and personality. Hello dear perfume lover, I've been carrying this idea of a perfume wardrobe for a while and I think now it's mature and I'm ready to share it. Why do I need a fragrance wardrobe? Well, just like actual wardrobe, like the clothes I'm wearing, I want my fragrance to be appropriate and that's the key word I'm gonna use today, appropriate. Different occasions uh, require different uh, type of clothing, different outfits, and same, in my opinion, concerns uh, the fragrance we are choosing. Scent is a part of our image, and using it we want to leave a certain impression. We don't go to the office in the evening dresses, so why would we choose something bold and seductive for that occasion? When will people stop using Baccarat Rouge to the gym? Appropriate is always beautiful. As I said, the fragrance we choose leaves an impression of us, but also, what is more important, it puts us in a certain mood, in a certain state of mind. I think of the perfume wardrobe as a set of tools that helps me to feel the right way in different situations in my life. I think the concept is pretty universal for men and women, but today I'm gonna focus on female wardrobe, and in the end I'm gonna demonstrate my up-to-date fragrance wardrobe. I define four types of occasions – work, everyday scent, leisure, special occasions, events, and romantic occasions. And behind the plus, uh, I have some extra functional fragrances. Each category, especially everyday fragrances, can have more than one scent. So let's have a closer look. Let's start with work, everyday fragrances. Quite many of us uh, can have a strict policy on fragrances, especially if you work in medicine or food industry, but even working in the office we are encouraged to follow the basic workplace etiquette. I remember when I was a student in uni, some of our um, teachers, professors would come to the classes wearing uh, such seductive florals or suffocating masks, and that was so inappropriate and so disturbing to come to the class at 8 in the morning and to be punched in the face with indolic tuberose. Choosing the right fragrance can support your image as a professional, as a person who is mindful with his choices, but also respectful to the others. Plus, while working, we want to be stimulated in the right way, and some scent profiles uh, can help us to concentrate uh, and feel more confident. Great perfumes for work uh, can be woodies, vetiver, cedar, and citrusy fragrances. And not only for office workers, but for any other working places, even if you're working on a construction site, or in a cleaning service, or in any other type of service, picking up a nice vetiver or a soft bergamot can put you in the right mood for the whole day. One fragrance that combines both is uh, Tacite from Aesop. It has notes of yuzu and vetiver, and it is just great for work. Another great choice is Santal 33, also woody fragrance. It smells like a busy, expensive downtown, perfect office scent. Apparently citrus scents, they make us more approachable for conversations. So-called uh, clean scents, uh, clean t-shirt scents, they can be great for office too. Did you notice how putting on uh, clean, crisp clothes and cleaning up your desk can really like, boost your productivity and make you feel good? And so do the clean scents. My pick would be Aqua Universalis from uh, Maison Francisco Chan. It is very pleasant and non-offensive scent um, that would make you feel good, but also everyone around. Or any other aqua from the same line, Aqua Celestia, Aqua Medea. I recently got some samples of them and they are excellent. Some delicate florals can be very good on, uh, on a day when you want to soften yourself a little bit. Um, sometimes I have those days when I need to do a lot of routine work and all I want to, to feel is um, to feel comfortable and to feel myself. Some very light roses or light jasmine scents work for me, but what I would avoid are tuberoses and the powerful jasmine. Delicate suede or leather scents 
can be interesting too. Delicate spices, tonka beans are okay in my opinion. For me, leather and the tonka bean notes, they give me some sense of protection. And during certain days, um, I really do need this feeling. A hint of vanilla is appropriate too, but I would avoid the full-on uh, gourmand vanillas for working environment. No matter um, if I work from office or from home, they are just too relaxing for me. It, mm, vanilla doesn't give me uh, the effect I'm looking for. I keep my vanillas for other occasions. So yeah, I see a pretty wide spectrum of um, everyday working fragrances, but in a delicate concentration. But if I were to choose one, it would be a fragrance with citrus on top and woody base. Let's move on to leisure, our free time. Here I can be quite short. Your leisure time fragrance is the one you love, that is unapologetically you. That's it. But what to keep in mind also is that our leisure time, our free time, we often spend with our loved ones, our partners, our children. Keeping in mind their preferences is also important. I don't purchase fragrances that my husband doesn't like, not because I need his validation, but simply because I'm sharing the same space with him, the same bed, and I don't want him to feel uncomfortable with my scent. If you have kids, you know that kids, they love a candy, chocolate, gourmand scents. You know better what your children love. For my leisure scents, I love uh, vanillas, I love gourmands, I also love tea fragrances. During the summer, I choose the florals, tuberose, rose, but also as a perfume lover, I like to experiment with my fragrances uh, during my free time. Oh, it's a funny story. Mm. When I just started my fragrance journey, um, I was uh, wearing different scents uh, to the office. I was discovering them, experimenting. And one morning I sprayed uh, Cansoir from MFK. I didn't realize how powerful this scent is. And when I came to the meeting room, my colleague offered to keep the door open to get some fresh air. <laughs> That's when I realized that my fragrance is inappropriate. So now I experiment with fragrances during my free time. Special occasions, events, be bold, be brave. That's the occasion to take out your grand soir. <laughs> Having a party with friends, visiting a concert, celebration or any other occasion when you will be seen, that's a chance to show uh, an unexpected side of your personality through your outfit and your fragrance. Depending on what impression you want to leave today, the fragrance can help. I myself always look for elegance on a special occasions. I love uh, creamy scents, feminine scents, uh, powdery, beautiful, musky florals. I think an iris can be a great choice. How about Athalia from Perfums de Marley? It's very elegant. If you love deep, strong oud fragrances, that's the segment of the fragrance wardrobe to use them for. Boozy fragrances, perfect. Angel Share from Killian, excellent choice. Tobacco fragrances can be very organic for special occasions. For example, Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. I'm still like circling around this fragrance, um, thinking, do I need it or do I not? Special occasions scent can be bold, can be concentrated. Romantic occasion. Some may think, well, special occasion and romantic occasion, the same fragrance will work. In my opinion, no, because um, going out on an event, we might want to make a statement with our sense, but going out on a date or having a romantic uh, evening at home, it's interpersonal. In fact, the louder your fragrance is, uh, the more repelling it can be to your significant other, while some delicate, sexy, close to skin fragrances, they would want them to lean to you. From my research and personal experience, the sensual scents are musky, of course. Mask Noir from uh, Narcisa Rodriguez, excellent. A little spritz behind your ears and perfume will warm up so nicely on your skin. Cardamom is a very sensual note. And vanilla. In that case, uh, I would go for more elegant, sensual vanilla rather than for an 
Uber Sweet Gourmand fragrance, Angelique Noir from Guerlain. Mm. I'm just that close to make a decision to purchase it. Oy. So that's what we have, 2 a.m. scents and 2 p.m. scents, two for special occasions, two for personal use. Sounds logical, I think. Choosing one scent for each category will keep you covered pretty well. But I said 4 plus, so what is that plus? Well, functional fragrances. Here you can define uh, for yourself for what personal use you need them and what emotions um, you want to evoke. It can be an after-the-gym refreshing spritz, it can be a bedtime scent, a scent for meditation, doesn't have to be perfume, it can be a room spray, a scent to boost your creativity, to put you in a resourceful state of mind, and so on. First two seems to be more common, gym and bedtime scent. After the gym cologne, it can be again something citrusy, or even ginger, it's another nice stimulating, energizing note. Plus the bedtime scent, something that helps you to unwind, puts you to sleep, lavender works. Patchouli may work for some people, the earthy scents are usually quite comforting. I love also soft gourmand fragrances. I will show which one, um, which one I picked as my uh, night scent, it might be somewhat surprising. Let's start with everyday working fragrances. Here I have more than one. Perfect scent for me would be something citrusy woody that I don't have yet. I realize I have a gap in my collection, but I ordered one. I got Bergamot 22 from Le Labo. But before it arrives, I like to use I'm Coming Home from Floraiku. It's a very delicate jasmine tea scent with a touch of ginger that also gives me some refreshing feel during a working day and it keeps me somewhat cold-headed. Whenever I need to feel more comfortable and quiet at work, when I have some routine tasks in my architecture projects, I would use Rose Shot from Olfactive Studio. It is gentle, realistic and non-offensive rose, just like a freshly cut rose from the garden. It's simple but very, very pleasant. And I have one scent that helps me during the harder times and colder season. I feel like this scent is protecting me like an armor. It is Nectar from Laboratorio Olfativo. It's a tonka scent with a leathery accord. It is deep. It keeps me tuned and uh, concentrated. So to choose one, I would maybe go with Pergamot 22, but since I don't have it, let it be nectar, because it's really warming um, during this rainy transitional autumn. My leisure scents. What I'm looking for in this category is easy, comfortable, sometimes warm, sometimes cold scent. Currently, I really enjoy Abisaya uh, from L'Artisan Parfumeur. It really reflects my character. It is calm, somewhat melancholic. When I come home, I spray it around my neck and just relax. Similar effect I get from Gris Chanel from BDK, I like to use it on weekend. When I need to do groceries, when I edit my videos, it keeps me relaxed and comforted. Gris Chanel can be as well an everyday working scent. It's kind of in between two categories. In summer, in summer I love uh, florals, tuberose. In autumn I enjoy gourmands. I have Jo de Po and Dolce Amalfi. But if I have to choose one, at the moment it will be Abisaya. Special occasions, events, what I'm looking for in this category is elegance. When I go out, I want to leave an impression of elegant yet casual person who takes care of her nails, clothes, appropriate makeup. For that I have Siwa. It has a beautiful floral note with vanilla base. It smells very elegant and very soft, creamy. I also like Dalina, it's a great scent for special occasion, it will not leave you unnoticed. There is one more that I want to get in the future, Santal Astral from uh, Mathia Premier. It's very elegant and quite long-lasting uh, sandal fragrance. To pick one, because we are in the colder season now, I will go with Siwa. Romantic occasion, that is quite simple for me, I have exact one that both me and my partner love, Sucre Noir. It is pure vanilla, but such a beautiful one, soft and enveloping. 
it makes your significant other lean closer to you and perfectly belongs to the atmosphere of dark evening, romantic occasion, maybe even visit to the restaurant. It's not too overpowering, but still noticeable. Refreshing scent after a workout or morning shower. I have mandarino. It's a light cologne veil with the scent of mandarina, obviously. It is simple and nicely refreshing. A bedtime scent. I don't wear fragrances to bed often, but if I want one, it is Lyra. It is so comforting. Vanilla, caramel, lavender. I use maybe half a spray on my wrist and fall asleep with this gauzy scent. So this is my fragrance collection, narrowed down to six fragrances. That keeps me covered for any occasion and serves me as a set of tools to achieve the desired mood and image. Keeping in mind the idea of fragrance wardrobe helped me to keep my collection curated and love it even more. When I bring in a flacon, I explain to myself why do I need it and for what occasion. Before I structured for myself this idea of a wardrobe functionality of each scent profile, I would purchase scents based on one criteria – do I like it or do I not? I ended up having a bunch of gourmands and vanillas. It is still the most important thing to like a fragrance, but learning about the influence of scent on our emotional state, it helped me to look more broadly on perfumery. I started to enjoy woody, spicy scents, even clean scents that uh, I have never enjoyed before. Now I understand them, I understand what mood they can create for me and how will it help me. Keep in mind that this concept is only my understanding of a perfume wardrobe, but I believe it is uh, pretty well thought through and uh, applicable to many of us. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's wear fragrances appropriately and let's be more mindful about our perfume choices.